Or are you going to dump both at the same time? The morale of the church and the school has been through the roof. Everybody around has kind of stepped up to help make that happen. Triumph in the midst of tragedy. On Monday, I got a phone call at 3 a.m. and they said, your building's on fire. And I actually was assuming it was maybe the dumpster or something little. And when we pulled up, uh, I found out to find two stories over 4,000 square foot. Sure enough, was in flames. Got it, there you go. But that didn't stop the Collinsville Christian Academy from hosting their biggest fundraiser of the year. The main attraction, a ketchup packet 32 times the normal size. I shoved the bottle, it was so fun, you shoved it really hard. To fill it up, people had to buy a bottle of ketchup for a dollar and then empty it into this metal bin. Now when the bin was full, they pumped all of that ketchup into a giant packet. Well, we've been having a whole bunch of snacks, we've been shaking ketchup bottles, um, and uh, it's been really fun today. I'm trying to be a part of history today. And a part of history they were. The final product, a 1,500 pound packet with 130 gallons of ketchup inside. But why ketchup? Well, it's kind of funny. Council boasts of having the world's largest ketchup bottle, but it's not, it's a water tower. We also say we're the horseradish capital of the world. I don't know who proves that, but all I know is Guinness had an open condiment sachet. No one had ever set the record. So I'm going, if I build a packet, throw ketchup in it, since we're known for ketchup, man, that can make some news, plus, plus get us in the Guinness World's record.